little bounce, little bounce, little kitty. And then there's the up and down, up, there's down, and then there's the laser. It turns out that a red line laser is exactly what it what it says it is. It's a red line. You'd think that it's a line. Yeah, it's not a dot. <laughs> you need to buy the red dot. Red dot laser. Yeah. You can focus it's not it. the line coming out of the laser that it's referring to. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought. I was like, oh, I need a line from the laser to the wall, <laughs> not across the wall. Here, hold on. I'm gonna get a few of that. That's dirty. Well. <laughs> Another ten dollars gone. Oh, Lord. But now you can mount both of them. Was so it, e was it easier to use the, re the accelerometer than the, than the joystick? Yeah, I didn't explore that option. I was hell-bent on using the accelerometer at whatever capacity. Um, the joystick just ended up having the most resources available, and it's got the WeChuck adapter um, that ended up being $1.99 off Amazon. So it's a pretty natural extension to go this route. However, I don't see it being any more difficult. You would just map this. Position 0 would be in the middle, and then you'd use the coordinate system. I think it would be less uh, would be less intuitive because I, I don't know how you would end up getting the diagonals. Mm -hmm.